Hello folks, and uh, welcome back to another special episode of uh, the Final Fantasy Tactics uh, character or class breakdown. Zell 58, and uh, this episode all about the chemist. Uh, chemist pretty self-explanatory um, as far as the abilities, you're just learning how to use items. Um, so you got your potion, which is your basic healing, high potion, which heals about 70 HP. Next potion that heals 150. Um, next we have uh, ethers or ethers. Uh, they restore some MP. Does it say? Yeah, 20. And then you have high ethers, which give you 50. The elixirs that restore full HP and MP, those are the rare ones, just like in most Final Fantasies. Antidote uh, that uh, cures poison. Eye drops. They cure darkness. Um, really not going to rate these because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, they're all useful at different points in the game depending on what's happening. Uh, Echo Grass uh, cures silence. Maiden's Kiss cures frog. Um, let's see here. Let me scroll down a bit. So we got Holy Water. Uh, it cancels undead or the uh, blood sucking. Uh, remedies cure the whole thing, <laughs> and uh, Phoenix Downs, they uh, they revive you. So that's pretty much it with the abilities. Um, I would say they're all useful at different points. Like I said, um, you know, I, I think for the basic gamer, this will be their secondary abilities uh, for whatever character they play as. The only benefit that a chemist has over... Um, a normal player with the secondary abilities is the chemist can throw these items a little bit further uh, uh, than one square. So, next we have counter abilities: auto potion. Auto potion, I will rate. Um, I'd actually, I'd give it like a four out of five. Um, I think it's a very useful uh, ability because whenever you take a damage, you will use a uh, potion. Um, your, your weakest healing potion. So if you have a regular potion, they'll use that. But if you're all out of regular potions, they'll use high potion and then X potion. So, you know, later on in the game when you can purchase X potions, you just, you know, get 99 of those. And if you get hit, then that's 150 health. Next we have our, like, radial abilities. We have throw item, which allows you to use the chemist throw, even if you're not a chemist. Um, then we have maintenance. Which makes it so, you know, your your equipment can't be broken. And then Equip Change, which allows you to switch out weapons um, or equipment. And finally, for our moving ability, uh, we have Move Find Item, which is very useful. Uh, in fact, it, it, it's really a must for one of our hidden characters, which, you know, we'll get to in, in way later in the game. Um, but um, it is very useful uh, at end game for finding some rare items. Um, overall, the chemist, I'd probably put him at a, a three out of five, another kind of average class. Um, but still, I mean, a lot of useful abilities. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, they can use guns, daggers, um, and let's see, mostly cloth items. So. Uh, definitely a great building block of a class. So that's about it. Uh, please uh, leave any comments about uh, what you think about uh, the chemists. You like them, you hate them, any uh, things you'd like to add to it. Um, and please rate, comment, appreciate, and I will uh, see you later. Bye.